Reports are coming in of fresh unrest in Bosnia and Herzegovina, with protesters in Sarajevo and Bihaj demanding that the demonstrators arrested during earlier unrest be freed. They've also called on politicians at every level of the Bosnian Federation complex structure to stand down. Meanwhile, Croatian Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic visited the city of Mostar, where he held talks with the president of the Bosnian Herzegovina Council of Ministers, Vjekoslav Bevanda. Milanovic toured the county building torched in Friday's unrest and said that he had arrived in Mostar to give his support to efforts on calming down the situation, adding that he had full understanding for the people who have been plagued by economic hardships and were in despair. Bevanda described the visit by Milanovic as a voice of Europe in Bosnia and Herzegovina, while Milanovic said that Europe should show more interest for its neighbor and make sure that the country is secured some type of framework for negotiations and relations with the EU. The recently founded Ora Green Party, led by former Environment Protection Minister Mirela Holi, has established a branch in the eastern city of Osijek. The party, which is looking to secure sustainable development for Croatia, has already established a subsidiary in the eastern town of Jakovo and will set up another five in eastern Croatian towns. Holi explained that energy and agriculture were at the focus of the party's economic program, with Slavonia seen as holding great potential in the sectors. The festivity of St. Blaise, the patron saint of Dubrovnik, ended at noon today with the lowering of the flag in front of St. Blaise's Cathedral and a procession being held in the ancient town streets. This was the 1042nd edition of the event, which has been placed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. Turning to sports, in the finals of the ATP Zagreb Indoors Tennis Tournament, Croatia's Marin Cilic beat Germany's Tommy Haas to win the tournament for the fourth time. Cilic defeated Haas in two sets, 6-3, 6-4. And now for Monday's weather. Moderately to prevalently cloudy in the morning, some fog expected in low-lying areas. Rain to begin in the North Adriatic at midday and then to spread to most of the Adriatic by the afternoon as well as to central Croatia. Southeasterly winds to strengthen to strong and moderately strong with gale force gusts in the open. Top morning temperatures of 3 to 10 degrees to be replaced by daily highs of 11 degrees inland and 15 along the coast.